Good day everyone and welcome to another video of the Tapan Kedi Solution. In our last video, we talked about indices and initial equation. And I dropped a question and give you a question. Although nobody really was able to drop the answer to that question. And um, we'll be doing a video on how to actually solve that question in subsequent time. But today we are going to look at an entirely different topic. We're going to be looking at thoughts. Thoughts is a topic that many students struggle with in secondary school and first years of university education and it is important and relevant to understand the principle of salt as it helps us in other aspects of mathematics and trigonometry. So let us understand what is, what is a salt. A salt is basically a number that is enclosed in the sign square root as the name as them. So if I have root 2, I can say that root 2 is a salt because it is enclosed in a square root sign and that is what a sort means. Usually if it was the square root of this 4, it's actually a sort, but square root of 4 can easily go to 2, thereby making it a natural number. But the square root of 2, if we were to do it, becomes a decimal number and it is quite complex. Most students can't eventually do it in time to get the answer to this question. Hence, the reason to leave answers in such form as we see. Okay, so thoughts are actually very simple and a very simple topic that we all should know. Okay, so we're going to try and do some basic operations of sword and see how far we can go with sword. So basic operations with sword. So basic operations. And the first operation usually is the addition operation. So for a sword to be addable, the okay, let me state the rule. We have a with m plus b root m. For a sword to be addable, the two numbers or the two variables that is within the square root sign must be the same. And if that is the case, all we have to do is like factorization. If factor out with m, what we mean will be a plus b. And root them have been factored out. So you need to do is to add a plus b and then put root m. Okay, the same applies for the subtraction. You have a root m minus b root m factorized, and you have this. So if they are different, it cannot be added. Okay, so the third operation is the multiplication operation. This can work for in various ways. You have a root m multiplied by b root n. You can have this it's not more that it's not a must that the compulsory must be in the same. This, this part and this part must be the same. It's not compulsory. So if you have this, you can simply just do a and b. The sort of m times n and the same goes for division if you have a root m divided by b root n you're going to have a over b that's a divided by b root m over n so these are the various ways which sorts are being applied this for you to solve any question regarding sort, they come in this way. Let's actually take real number examples and see how it works and how we can work out something. Now, if you have two root two, okay, two root two times three root three. And you're about to solve this, okay? If you are times, in, all you need to do is 2 times 3, making it 6 roots. 2 times 3, which make it 6. So, very simple. You have 3 root 2 plus 5 root 2. All you have to do is 3 plus 5, making 8 root 2. And if you have 
5, 3 root 2, minus root 2. It does seem that there's an invisible one here, so 3 minus 1, 2, root 2. This is simply like if you have two oranges, three oranges, and someone has only one orange, and so you give out one. What it means is going to be two oranges for you. Um, also, the division home, we have three root six divided by two root three. It's simply three over two root six over three. Which is 3 over 2 root 2. So these are the various ways which we can have sort and how we can add sort and multiply them. So quickly, I'm going to try and discern something very quickly. Now, generally in sorts, when we deal with sorts, we are not usually comfortable. You find something like this 2 over root 2. I have 3 over root 2 or 3 or 4 over root 3. Usually, when we have this kind of thing in a source, you are not usually comfortable with it. So we try to simplify these sorts the way they are. Okay? So when we have sorts like this, all we simply do is to imagine if you have 5. 5 times 1 is still 5. So mean if we can bring something that will still give us one and multiply here, but will help us in eliminating this, we should try it. So if you have times times this by yes yeah, root two, so times by root two over root two. If you multiply by root two over root two, this cancels as becomes one. So it's like you're multiplying by one, and so you're going to have two root two over root. Two. Remember when we are multiplying this and this, it has two times two which makes it 2 root 2 over 4 over root 4 thereby saying 2 root 2 over 2 2 2 the answer makes it root 2 ok and that is root 2 over root 2 we are making 3 root 2 and that will be root 4 because 2 times it is 4 we are making it 3 over 2 root 2 and here finally times root 3 over root 3 it make, makes it 4 root 3 over root 9 3 times 3 is 9 we are making it 4 over 3 root 3 so this is a way so this is simply saying that 2 over root 2 is written as root 2, 3 over root 2 is written as 3 over 2 root 2, and 4 over root 3 is written as 4 over 3 root 3. So you can actually check your calculator to confirm some of these things. Okay? And we omitted something, but we're definitely going to talk about it. We can actually simplify sorts. How do we simplify sorts? How do we make sorts appear simpler? Now, if you have root 18 for example root 18 seems quite distraught and let's assume in the question we have we are giving root 18 and you have to find root 18 but we are giving root 2 maybe as let's assume okay let's not assume we are giving root 2 as 1 point something 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 okay and you are asked to get root 18 so you can't get root 18 from here from root 2 simply because 2 and 18 are not the same but we can try to do something, we can try to simplify this sort and then we can see what we can do. So you have that 18 is written as 9 times 2. Okay, if you remember the law of is very well, if you remember the law of sort like I showed you earlier, that for something to actually be like this, it means originally it was in root 9 times root 2. So when they combine, they form this. Okay, so if you have that root 9 is 3, times root 2, so 3 root 2. So I've been simply, we have simply been able to reduce 18 into 3 root 2. Let's look at another one. Let's look at root 48. Okay, the 48, we can reduce root 48 into root 16 times 3. Let's simplify the perfect square. 
and times it by whatever can give you this. And thereby meaning you have root 16 times root 3, thereby making it 4 root 3. So simply by doing this, you can be able to attack questions on swords using the same platforms. Okay, these are this is a very simple way of solving problems regarding sorts. So by simplifying sorts this way, you can easily tackle questions. We'll look at an example, but before then, let me quickly explain the concept of conjugate of sort. You have the proper conjugates of sorts. Or conjugates what called conjugate sorts. Now for example, we try to explain something similar that when you have calf 2 over root 2 minus minus um, root 3 let me use something very quite simple if I have this um, the conjugate of this sort is simply gotten by me rewriting it the conjugate of the sort down is because maybe we're writing it and changing the sign from, plus, from minus to what? Plus root 3. So imagine, like I said, we don't really like sort being in the denominator. So we try often to carry it to the numerator. Okay? So if we have this, we have to multiply both up and down by the conjugate. And remember what we said when you multiply the up and down by the same thing, they cancel out. So if you have so if we take the conjugate of this sort. Conjugate of root 2 minus this is root 2 plus root 3 over root 2 plus root 3. This thing and this and this cancel out. Yeah, but it means we are just multiplying by 1. So let us multiply out. A 2 multiplies root 2, 2 root 2 plus 2 root 3 over root 2 times root 2. You have root 4. Okay, root 2 times this, you have plus root 6, you know, root 6, yeah. plus root 6, and then you take the root 3 minus plus minus the 3 times this, still root 6, and root 3 minus plus 16 minus root 3 times root 3, making it root 9. So we could simplify that into 2 root 2 plus 2 root 3 over root 4 is 2. This cancels, but it's like 6 minus 6. So it cancels out itself to 0. We have plus 0 minus 3. So this, this is that actually non existent. So we basically having 2 root 2. Plus 2 root 3 over 2 minus 3 makes it minus 1. So we write in what is all we can say it is minus 2 root 2 minus 2 root 3. So you have seen that we're able to express this complex conjugate as that. And this, um, this complex sort, by multiplying up and down by its conjugate, we have been able to arrive at this point. Okay, so I'd like to take an example on sorts and then from there we can actually come to conclude everything regarding sorts. Okay, now the example I'd like us to take is if, okay, simplify, this question is off any book, so in case there are irregularities in the question. So we have root 48 plus root 16, no, plus root 96 plus root 108 plus root, I'm just trying to combine things, 120 plus join them and minus root. Okay, let's assume this is what I have, and I'm asked to simplify this. Okay, let's try and do it together. So, 48 can be reduced to 
we look at Prophet 2016, and we can add the Mother 2016 gave us a so we haven't done anything. So here for 96, I think we could have 16 times 6, 96. And we still haven't done anything. For 108, we could have um, 36 times 3. And for 120, we could have. Can we have for 120? Let's look at numbers. If you have chance 5, so no, 5 cannot be used. Um, let's see. 4, 30, and in 30, we could have. Should I see 4 times 30? I will be sure if there is no sword in 30. And here we have 16 times 5. We have with 16 making 4 with 3. Here makes it plus 4 with 6. And here plus 6 with 3. And here is plus 2 with 30. It can still find it very difficult to agree to. Okay, okay, we have 4. 4 can divide it. We have uh, 9. 9 can divide it. We have. Um, 16, 16 can divide, what 25, 25 can divide, what can divide is nothing. So I think with 30 space, minus 4 with 5. So, in view of this, we're going to try and collect like times. This and this we collect, so we're going to have, so 4 plus 6 makes it 10 with 3. Remember I was said you have same with, so they are addable. And then we have plus Let's arrange them 4 root 5 plus 4 root 6 plus 2 root 30. And we have been able to simplify this question. Although not so much. But probably in written, remember these questions are from my head. In written questions, it is surprise is just to sort. But usually we have 5 and now we have 4. So it is still simplifying irrespective of how you do it. So probably if you have a real-time question and you try to simplify, it may become smaller. So I believe that many of us could be, would have been able to um, actually understand the principle of sort and we can actually solve questions regarding sort. Because it's about understanding the principle of our ability to solve questions. Please do well to drop your questions and we can do this topic on our comment section or you can contact me on WhatsApp. If you have my number, comments, I'll drop my number. Contact me on WhatsApp and please do well to like our video, subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you can always see our notification all of our videos. And we promise to keep giving you good content. The last week giveaway, nobody was able to win, which is so unfortunate. Probably on this video, we're having another giveaway. And hopefully, let us keep solving, keep researching, keep developing, keep exploring. And probably we could achieve success on the in the world of science and math. Thank you so much and thank you for watching.